Hey, Managing Hero, Jay here. An undeniable trend in manufacturing today is additive. So today we're about 30 minutes outside of Munich in Bavaria to visit a company called EOS who are market leaders in the space. Let's go learn something. Nico, how are you? Jay, good to see you. Good to see Welcome. you. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your time. I know you're an important, busy guy. I appreciate the time to teach us about additive. Absolutely. Great. Come on in. Yeah, yeah. It's a great facility. Yeah, it is. And by the way, it was found uh, four years ago, but this company exists for more than 30 years. Wow. So our founder and owner, Hans, founded the company mm -hmm. 19... 89. Okay. And is one of the pioneers in the space. Yeah, yeah. And if we talk about 3D printing, we love to have the expression responsible manufacturing because it tells a lot about what we stand for, what our sure. purpose is. It's production on the one side, meaning all about cost per part lowering. It's about all about OEE increasing. It's about quality at a defined level. Yeah. But also responsibility at the end of the claim is about we care about components and sure. the way we do business to be responsible to our environment, but also to our employees. Yeah, I love the shift to responsible manufacturing because I think, honestly, when I think of additive manufacturing, I think of 3D printing, I think of nerds in the basement making simple, silly plastic parts. Uh, so it's a, it's a nice <laughs> change, you know. Those times are over. Yeah. Those times are over. We're, I'm sure you're going to show me something We're doing cool. serious stuff now. Yeah, and, uh, cool. yeah, Let me show you some stuff, huh? because I'm not sure you, you, you've seen additive manufacturing before. Mm -hmm. yeah? So we don't subtract material like traditional manufacturer. We add material. Mm -hmm. So the designs can be much more, you know, we're not limited to any, any design rules. Sure. And that gives us the opportunity to um, create components that are yeah. very much focused on the function of the component. Yeah. Itself. So yeah. for, we can do component much lighter, which helps in losing weight for um, sure. aerospace um, uh, planes or space uh, satellites. Yeah. Without, sa uh, without sacrificing strength. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. Fantastic. At the same end, we can create components that are custom made. So mm -hmm. we have a lot of medical components up there sure. because the body is lot size one, right? And yeah. you want a specific component <laughs> yeah, for your yeah. implant or for your teeth. Yeah. That's a big value. And uh, yeah. hyper-personalization. Yeah. And as you can see, yes, plastic still round. Yeah. But we can also print metal. Metal. I had no idea. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm used to plastics and polymers. I had really no idea that, <laughs> that, that metal is, is a real thing. Yeah. Like, we can print anything from aluminum, titanium, even gold, if you can see here, gold, silver. Wow. Something that uh, opens up the space for applications. This is I really incredible. I had no idea, Nico. You know, I would love to learn a little bit more about the process for metal. Uh, is there a way we can learn about that? Sure, yeah, let's um, go down okay. to, to our machines okay. and uh, show a little bit how the whole process is working. And I, I'm sure Mirko can show you some cool applications around metal. Great. Shall well, we do I'll that? go down and meet him. Yeah, right, for cool. sure. All right, yeah. thanks, Nico. Let's go. Mirko, how are you? Hi, Jay. I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, thanks for. Uh, taking me and us on a tour of what is possible sure. with metals yeah. and additive manufacturing. Yeah, sure. Uh, thanks. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me on the show. It's really great to be here. Um, yeah, we are here at the EOS showroom yeah. uh, in Kreiling near Munich. Um, I can just, uh, we have some parts on display here. Sure. What are really the um, benefits of additive manufacturing. Right, so right. you can see this part here, and this is basically a before and after study. Okay. So like a conventionally manufactured satellite bracket, and then one which is actually um, uh, not designed by a human anymore, but actually by a computer. Wow. So really optimal uh, strength and, and really nice design, saving uh, material, of course. Right, right. So paying into that sustainability aspect. Absolutely. Yeah? I mean, it looks different. I mean, so I assume they serve the exact same purpose. They have the exact same, but this is a lot of metal. And Absolutely, yeah. Which yeah. you don't need in the spaces in between. Right, yeah. right, so. right. So I mean, there's a lot of, uh, I see a lot of benefits, but I think for me, that looks really cool. Yeah, it does, <laughs> doesn't it? Right. Cool. Yeah. And I can show you some other example. So, I mean, these are like uh, hip cups. Hip which, cups, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So um, they have been actually, uh, 3D printed mm -hmm. 
some while, yeah? Yeah. And they have so, so you cannot do anything like with this fine structure, right, right. structure we, we cannot, you cannot create that like in a conventional in process. Traditional ways, yeah. Right. And they have medical benefits. So actually the bone tissue grows into this oh. medical and holds it really tight. So it, it, it'll never fall off. Yeah. So, I mean, just invest, it, not only is it hyper customizable, but the process itself can actually lend itself to be better for the application. Now, I appreciate that. I just put a hip in my dad. Uh, he got a new hip. So hopefully he's got one of these cool 3D printed. All hits. right. <laughs> Hopefully it's printed on Neos printer. Yeah, yeah, I hope. yeah. Cool. Yeah. So th a lot of benefits. Now I, I can now begin to understand. Uh, uh, you know, if you can dream it, you can make it, even out of metal. But this is a big part. Absolutely. And yeah. I feel like there's some real challenge. You can't just print it. There's some real challenges to make this happen, right? Right. I mean, it's not easy. So, I mean, we've been doing this for like 30 years, wow. and, you know, tweaking the machines, tweaking the process mm -hmm. and tweaking the material. Everything comes together, the yeah. software. And uh, we're standing here in, in front of our actually newest uh, uh, machine, the M300. Okay. Um, it has actually four lasers on it. Maybe I can tell you a little bit about yeah. how our process works, sort of. So we have, we use very fine grained material powders. Okay. We apply them uh, to a build plate with a recoder. Okay. In a very uh, fine, uh, down to 20 micron sort of layer. Wow, 20 micron yeah. layer of powder? Exactly. Wow. And, uh, and then we have lasers on top, in this case, four lasers actually uh, bringing in the energy to that powder in, in, in sort of a welding process. So you're like melting 40 micron layers of powder over and over again. Exactly. Wow. Right, right. But I suspect then there's a lot like what happens if laser is off or something's wrong with the, uh, I mean yeah it's tough yeah absolutely and uh, we, we have really sophisticated monitoring systems built mm -hmm. in the system and on everything starts really with a very clean powder bed as you can imagine so because if that's not clean if that already has defects you're likely going to get right. um, like defects in the part. Well, and that would be a pity though, sorry to cut you off. It'd be a pity to not know that there was a defect until the end. Um, then you have all of this part that is used. I mean, it'd be almost cool if you could see it in process, yeah. you know. But you know we're partnering with Zeiss and working on a solution for that, right? No, no. You've never heard? I didn't know that, okay. really. Well, um, Zeiss has, um, has come up with a, with a pretty cool solution to actually monitor the powder bed on our really? M290 machine, um, and which actually can, can identify all of these powder dead wow. defects and even react if something goes wrong during the build time. So again, you know, saving uh, right. scrap, increasing yield, and uh, paying into that sustainability. Yeah, so you don't have to finish the part. Right. Someone, uh, there's a a monitor process, size uh, co-developed monitoring process. So yeah, man, I'd love to hear about that. Yeah. Uh, maybe when I get back to Oberkoch and I can talk to someone about, <laughs> well, about that part. Well, you don't even have to. You don't even have to leave the office. Actually, Andreas Tietz from Zeiss Sales is here today. There's a Zeiss guy here. Yeah, there's a Zeiss guy oh, here. Wow. You can talk okay. to him just now. All right, cool. Well, uh, Mirko, thank you for your time. Thanks for showing me the machine the challenges and what's possible. Yeah. Uh, I want to learn more about this, uh, this monitoring process. Okay. Okay, we'll see you soon. See you. All right. Andreas. Hey, Jay. How are you? Good to see I'm you. I'm fine. Thank I you. did not expect to see a Zeiss person here. Yeah, I'm quite often here at Kreiling. Uh, that's cool. Well, we're just here learning about additive manufacturing. Okay, okay. And uh, now I understand that we have quite a strong partnership with uh, Zeiss and EOS. Yes, indeed. For us, it's very important to have a partnership with EOS in this moment because normally we have to put our quality assurance and our metrology in the post process after mm -hmm. finishing the part. And we wanted to take part into the machine. Right. We wanted with our in-process monitoring, especially designed and developed for the additive manufacturing, we wanted to be the part of the machine while printing the parts and not sure. after the printing. 
Sure, sure. I mean, it's, it makes it faster, more efficient yeah. if we're part of it. Not Improving it. sustainability, of course. Yeah. You don't have, you even not producing any quick parts mm -hmm. after that with our technology. That's really cool. And then, of course, the two brands uh, together in one. The two market leaders. Two, two market, market leaders, leaders yeah. size and EOS That's for great. a strong partnership. Well, I didn't know anything about it. I look forward to diving deeper into what the technology is and how it really uh, accelerates additive manufacturing and our partnership with EOS. Thanks a lot, man. Good to see you. Jay, All you're right. welcome. For you out there, hope you enjoyed our little tour of additive manufacturing and the company EOS. Don't forget to stay safe and stay healthy. We'll see you next time.